Hello everyone and welcome back to Zoo Tycoon where we're here in the outback! Look at how beautiful this area is! And we even have some of our very first outback related animals. Oh no! There's poop in there! There is poop in the exhibit my friends! Okay, we have got to fix that. But we're with our kangaroos! Hello! How are you doing today my friend? And thank you guys so much for leaving your comments in the previous video because it does mean... Oh, and that looks just absolutely glorious. Because it does mean that we are actually going to rename our kangaroos today. And we are also going to be renaming our wonderful giraffes. Since, you know, I definitely absolutely had to add giraffes. Oh gosh, I think that there's some poop to scoop in this exhibit too. Okay, well we need to go ahead and take care of our animals first thing. So let's clean this up. There we go. Thankfully that's the easiest scooping of poop I could ever do. Uh, you know, we've been doing that for a long time around here in the pixel biology community. And then we're going to figure out a way. Oh, we need to do zoo demonstrations too. Let's see, zoo demonstrations. Guests want to see a hose interaction performed with one of your animals. Well, we kind of have tiny exhibits guests, so you're going to have to give us just a minute. <laughs> but all right, we actually need to already get a bigger area for our kangaroos so that they have more room to roam and hop about. And we, I think we need to get something going for our giraffes too. They really want to see like another one of their species. And they've actually, these giraffes, my friends, have been going through their brows so fast. Their food has been being emptied so rapidly. I need some help. So it's time to get some zookeepers here. All right, let's actually get some zookeepers in because that's really important. And then later on, no, 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 not a restroom, not a restroom. I wanted a zookeeper. Ugh, ah, sorry, it's early in the morning. And actually while we're here, I think I definitely need to work on getting myself, uh, then we'll do some coffee shop research. So we're gonna get some research done on the coffee shop because it's so early in the morning and I think I need a good strong cup of tea. So, all right, we'll get that down and then we want facility, there we go. <gasps> what? I can't have zookeeper help yet? This is a travesty, friends. I need zookeeper help. Oh boy, all right, well, we're gonna have to wait on zookeeper help, but maybe that means we can put down a, another exhibit. Can I go for a medium? Oh, I have to do research on that too. Jeez, we need more money. How much are we charging to come and see my like three, three little hoppers and my two long necks? Uh, let's see, economic breakdown. Oh, there's the admission price. All right, admission price, normal. Hmm. All right. Let's try putting in a coffee and see if that can help us out a bit. So maybe we'll put a coffee over here because it's going to be kind of next to where we'll have the zookeeper area. And I'm sure that they're going to need a little bit of a pick me up. I actually have never had coffee myself, but I do love my tea. I really, really love tea. Let's actually scooch it up here to try to leave room for the restrooms. And it can be right next to the giraffes that way. Ta-da! We'll put this together. Price is normal. Uh, I will upgrade it when we have more money. We don't have a lot of money right now. And in the future, we will even name these little coffee shops after some of you guys. And uh, we'll even name them after some of our patrons too. So I do need to look into that. And then let's get a bathroom in here too because this is just going to be kind of miserable if we don't have a restroom. And one of my favorite zoos in the whole world, the North Carolina Zoo, I absolutely adore and love because they put their bathroom before the zoo entrance. So you don't even have to pay to get into the zoo yet. You can stop after the desperate drive to get all the way to the North Carolina Zoo. You can go and relax at a really nice bathroom with a little like, there's a little amphitheater and really beautiful trees. And I often see quite a few adorable like squirrels and some of the local birds. And then you can cross the bridge and go and pay for admission and I always thought that was the most thoughtful thing in the world because it takes forever to get to zoo sometimes you have to drive like donkey days and so you, by then you're in a good mood and you're willing to like go into the zoo and see what's going on so I highly recommend putting your bathrooms before <laughs> as an act of kindness before you actually have to have people pay to get into your zoo all right so now that we've done that oh what I wanted to do if I can set it somewhere 
is I want to change the trees. Let's go with these desert trees. Oh, <gasps> whoa! That changes the entire feeling. Can I get like some eucalyptus actually? Maybe that's not enough tree. I like my trees. Let's look at what we would expect for decoration. What would we expect the scenery, if it was outback scenery, to look like? These kinds of like medium trees, they're a lot bigger than desert trees. And eventually we would want like these kinds of outback rocks, which I think are really cool. So I think we'll, we'll change it. Maybe we won't have, ah, yeah, maybe we won't end up with desert trees. That's a little bit too strong. All right, let's try again. So trees, maybe beach trees? How do they like remove all of the trees? I don't think so. Okay, beach trees don't quite work either. Huh. All right, all of you who happen to live in Australia, would the city trees still be appropriate? Because I feel like they're a little ambitious for the outback. But I know that there's like, and where are the eucalyptus trees? Maybe they're in the more tropical parts of Australia. I have so much to learn, so much to learn. This is going to be very exciting. What do you guys think? I'm kind of leaning towards the palm trees, actually. Sort of kind of leaning towards the palm trees, but we'll have to see. We'll worry about that later. For now, we need to worry about getting attendance and fame up so that we have more that we can do. Uh, and let's see. So what else can I put down now? Well, what kind of animals can we add in? Let's do our research on a medium. Let's get more outback animals in. That's going to be important. And then while we're doing research on the medium exhibit, it's... Oh, there's poop to scoop. I'm on it. And then let's actually check in on our animals. Okay, so this is our level 11, Andrew. And we're actually going to rename him in just a second. I have a girl name right now. So we're going to actually rename this little baby girl, and she's going to be known as Bella. So thank you so much, Landon, for leaving such a sweet name last time. I'm glad that you had some ideas for what to name our kangaroos. And we'll have to see how baby Bella does as we, uh, as we continue to flourish. And then let's see. Let's see, let's see. Who else has... Okay, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna rename Andrew to Seppi. So Seppi, welcome. And Seppi, I'm so excited that you're enjoying the kangaroos as well. I'm using the random comment generator right now. And then we're going to rename our female, whose name right now is Vixen. This is so exciting. I love having you guys end up as our animals so you can watch each other grow and flourish and maybe even have some babies together. But we're gonna have a uh, little guinea. So actually let's go with violet because guinea mine said roses are red, violets are blue, zoo tycoon's awesome, wolf quest is too. And isn't that just the rallying call to our entire channel? Oh my gosh. So we're gonna go ahead and rename her violet instead of vixen. Yes, my guests are disappointed I didn't spray my animals down with the hose right now. Well, we kind of don't have anyone who would like that right now, guest. Animal welfare comes first. All right. But what I can offer is a bigger range for our kangaroos. So let's start. How are we going to do this, guys? I kind of feel like we should go ahead and just like have... I eventually want to put a large exhibit here, so we'll just put the medium right here for now. Connect it here, and then I want to move our newly renamed animals. So let's go ahead, and how do I... We're going to go ahead and move. Come along here, my dear. Oh, look at the baby! Oh my gosh, so cute. going to go ahead and move. And then let's go ahead and move. There we go. And then we're gonna wanna add some new exhibit items so that they have food, they have water, they have everything that they need. Uh, there's nothing there. I don't know why it thinks there's something there. Let's do the carved croc. There we go. And then what else would they like over here? What else do... Kangaroos, I think kangaroos pretty much just eat grass. So we'll have a couple of the grass stations. And then let's do enrichment. 
And they really seem to love this activity center. Yeah, the kangaroos really, really love it. So let's go ahead and just have the Rolling Stones activity center again. And can I put anything else in for the ruse? I think that's all that we can put down for the ruse at the moment. Yeah, we can only put one in. Exhibit decorations. Let's see. <gasps> natural decorations! Oh, I do love adding in a few little natural decorations here and there. A good rock can just really make the entire exhibit be pulled together, I think. Uh, there's steles and statues. Ooh, the outback statues. Ooh, look at the outback stele. Oh, that's so cool. Can I look at it? Wow, that's really cool. There we go. They should be happier now that they are in a bigger area. And we've almost made the zoo famous enough. Let's scoop this poop. We've almost made it famous enough that they will be able to, uh, to have some zookeepers start coming in. But what kind of animals... We can also put a cougar in the savannah, which just sounds ridiculous to me. We could add in more kangaroos. We can apparently put in jaguars. Outback, outback. Huh. We could even put elephants into the outback. I don't know about that. Antelope, giraffes are okay in the outback. Chimpanzee. Uh, let's see. Outback, alpaca, hippopotamus, lions, rhinoceros, and tigers. I really don't know about some of that, guys. I really don't think we should be putting some of those animals into the outback. Um, I guess we'll have to wait until we have more kangaroos. Fooey, so the outback exhibits are going to be a little tricky. How can I add in a crocodilian? That's what I want to know. Ooh, and maybe the arid pool would be a good... Ooh, a bush grove? <gasps> Owls, falcons, wombat! Koalas, king quills, and possums go in the bush grove. That's what we need. We need a ton of these little bush groves to kind of link things together, I think. All right, let's put one down here and maybe one over here. And then we can have like a nice little lake over here or something. Or maybe just like a giant rock. Everybody likes a giant rock. All right, let's get some wombats up in here. Because that would be adorable. Yes! Huzzah! We can have zookeepers. I can have help with the poop scooping. Definitely need that. Definitely need that. All right, let's go ahead and connect that. Connect this. And then let's see who we are going to add in now. And I'll pull up another random name just in case one of you guys are going to end up becoming... <gasps> that falcon! Oh, or not the falcon. I looked at the name falcon and then I saw the possum. And look at that face. Oh, guys, come on. The common ringtail possum is a species of possum found across Australia, including in Tasmania. They like to be in groups of three animals. They're pretty common, so guests will like it but won't be enthusiastic. And the common bush brushtail possum, uh, people will be very excited about. But look at that face! How could you not be excited about that face? All right, we're gonna do some research. The owls that we can have right now, the Australian mast owl, oh. Okay, Australians, this is your time to shine. I need to know how much you love these little owls. So we can have Gigi, John, Basher, Snowdrop, and Vicky, and all of them will be renamed, uh, and they cannot breed in the small exhibits, so we can just kind of have whoever we need. So let's see, the higher level, the better the popularity. And then once they hit level 15, we can actually put them on the reserve to trade to some of our other zoos so that they can go forth as little Australian ambassadors of adorableness. So let's grab Vicky. And we're going to rename Vicky before we move on. So Vicky. Oh, she's so cute. Holy cow. Okay, Vicky, we're going to rename you to Zoe. After Zoe, who left such a sweet comment. Zoe, I hope you enjoy being the most adorable little possum ever. You're going to have some little possum friends in just a second here. Gosh, I really, really love, absolutely love being able to add you guys in like this. Can you mix exhibits? Probably, but because, like, I don't think we want to add a black falcon in with our possums. <laughs> we we, we kind of want our poor little possum Zoe to live, after all. <gasps> Look at little Pepper! Oh my gosh, there's entirely new possums now. Oh, they're so cute. Okay, we're going to go ahead and we're going to get Basher. And we're going to rename Basher really quickly. So there's... Oh, he's so cute! 
We're going to rename Basher to Paws after Soft Paws, who left such a sweet comment. Look at how you guys are like visiting Urzu and helping us to name the adorableness. All right, we'll get one more little possum. And this one is going to be, oh my gosh, <laughs> we'll go ahead and grab Pepper. And this one, oh, the exhibit is now full, which is great. Oh, calm down, all of you challenges. I'm busy right now. And we are going to rename Little Pepper to Squirrel. Squirrel the Possum, after Squirrel Puffle. So there we go, guys, thank you so much. All you have to do to become one of the animals is just leave a little comment, and then you too shall join our side as we continue to expand our outback. I'm kind of intrigued. I know we need to adopt more animals for our outback area, but I'm not really sure, like there's no, there's no other big animals, but we have many, many a species of kangaroo if we can just get like popular enough. So we'll have to see how that goes. I do like the red kangaroo a lot too. They're one of my favorites. So we might even replace this outback with something else, but I would love to see what could happen if we can start getting some crocodiles. So that's going to be fun too. All right, but next time we'll need to add in the zookeeper exhibit, start naming maybe some of the, the amenities that we have after you guys, and even some of the little groves. I think that that would be quite fun too. And giving, of course, the heights of the outback a new larger exhibit for the glory that is my beloved giraffes so i've got poop to scoop and i will see you guys next time if you could do please leave a like for the adorable new little possums that we now have look at how cute they are holy cow they're so cute oh my gosh oh i love them oh look at the little ones oh she's so, so shy so shy so cute and if you would like to join us on this and literally thousands more adventures, do please consider subscribing. But most importantly, my friends, stay curious. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.